I want to share the best vitamin to help shrink a fibroid. So, what is a fibroid? A fibroid is a growth, but it's not cancerous. Fibroids are the number one reason why women get hysterectomies. Fibroids are very common. One reference states that 20 to 50% of all women before the age of 50 have some type of growth, fibroid, or endometriosis. So let's start with the uterus. What is the uterus? Well, it's part muscle and part gland. You can think of the uterus like the soil where a seed or an egg implants and starts growing. It's really nutrient dense and rich. It feeds the egg once it's fertilized. The uterus has incredible regenerative properties, meaning it can heal and grow tissue. Researchers are now looking at how they can use that ability in different parts of the body to help regenerate tissues. The other fascinating thing about the uterus is that it can expand by 500 times. These tiny growths affect 20 to 50% of women. Indeed, you are not alone in this battle. The worst part is that fibroids are the main cause of hysterectomy among women, which is a surgical procedure to remove the uterus. Quite frightening, actually. You might now be thinking, wait a minute, I thought fibroids were cancerous. Actually, I have some great news for you. They are not. However, they can create a lot of problems from pelvic pain to heavy periods disrupting your life. What if I told you that the secret to reducing these bothersome growths might be just in your medicine cabinet or even shining down on you every time you go outside? Yes, we are talking about vitamin D, the sunlight vitamin, but how could something so basic help with something so complex? Today we will discover exactly that. We'll look at how this simple vitamin might be your secret weapon in the battle against fibroids. We'll explore the science behind it, bust some common myths, and maybe even surprise you with some information you didn't know about your own body. If you're tired of living with fibroids, seeking a natural cure, or simply fascinated by the power of vitamin D, you're in the right place. All right, let's first talk about what vitamin D really does in our bodies. You see, vitamin D is actually a hormone rather than just a vitamin. It plays a crucial role in controlling the genes that guide development. Here's where it gets interesting. Fibroid tissue has different vitamin D receptors than normal uterine tissue. This means fibroid tissue lacks vitamin D reducing control over its growth. It's like having a garden where some plants take all the water, leaving others to grow unchecked. But that's not all vitamin D does. It's also a natural aromatase inhibitor. Now that's a fancy term, but it simply means vitamin D helps stop the conversion of testosterone to estrogen. Why is this important? Because fibroids depend on estrogen to grow. By lowering estrogen levels, vitamin D can help slow down fibroid growth. Additionally, vitamin D promotes something known as apoptosis in fibroid cells. Don't let that big word scare you. It's just a term for cell death. This is how our bodies naturally eliminate damaged or unnecessary cells. Fibroids cause trouble because they lose this ability to self-destruct. But vitamin D can start this process again possibly causing fibroids to shrink. You may be wondering, this sounds great, but how much vitamin D do I need? Well, the answer might surprise you. We're talking about 50,000 IU daily. Yes, 50,000. Let me reassure you before you worry about vitamin D poisoning, this high dose can be safe and effective when taken with the right cofactors. Curious about these cofactors? They are vitamin D's best friends, helping it work properly and preventing problems. We're talking about vitamin K2, magnesium, zinc, boron, and vitamin B6. Together, these elements help avoid hypercalcemia, too much calcium in the blood. Tyreoids. Still, there are other ways to address fibroids besides supplements. Your diet is also important. Consider a ketogenic diet, which can help lower insulin levels. Insulin can actually increase fibroid growth. It's like depriving those unwanted growths of fuel, and don't forget cruciferous veggies like broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, kale, bok choy, arugula, and Brussels sprouts. These nutrient powerhouses can help manage your body's estrogen levels. Here's a surprising tip. You might want to cut back on milk. 
We've all been told milk is good for us. But when it comes to fibroids, milk may not be your friend. It's meant to help baby calves grow big and strong, so it's packed with growth hormones and high in calcium, which can be problematic when taking high doses of vitamin D. Some of you might be worried about vitamin D poisoning. It's a legitimate concern, but even high doses of vitamin D can be safe with the right cofactors. It's all about balance. Think of it as a well-coordinated ballet where every nutrient supports the others, keeping everything in harmony. But don't just take my word for it. Here's some scientific data to back this up. A 2016 study in the journal Fertility and Sterility found that vitamin D deficiency was significantly linked with uterine fibroids. The researchers concluded that vitamin D might be a safe, low-cost, effective treatment for uterine fibroids. Another 2013 study in the Journal of Steroid Biochemistry and Molecular Biology showed that vitamin D3 reduced uterine fibroids in laboratory rats. The researchers found that vitamin D3 made fibroids 75% smaller and lowered the expression of genes promoting fibroid growth. But what about real people? Let me share some case studies. First, there's Sarah, a 42-year-old teacher from Ohio. Sarah's periods were severe and she was diagnosed with multiple fibroids. Although her doctor recommended a hysterectomy, Sarah wanted to explore other options first. She started taking 50,000 IU of vitamin D daily, along with the cofactors we discussed. She also switched to a ketogenic diet and ate more cruciferous veggies. After six months, Sarah's symptoms had greatly improved and her fibroids had shrunk by 30%. Then there's Maria, a 35-year-old graphic designer from California. Maria's large fibroid was worsening her fertility issues. Like Sarah, she began supplementing with high-dose vitamin D and changed her diet. After a year, Maria's fibroid had shrunk to a manageable size and she became pregnant naturally. These are just Two examples, and everyone's experience will differ, but they show how effective vitamin D can be in managing fibroids. So, what can you do with all this information? Here are some actionable steps. Check your vitamin D levels. This is crucial before starting any supplement regimen. If your levels are low, consider supplementing with vitamin D3. Remember, always consult a healthcare provider before starting any new supplement, especially at high doses. Don't forget the cofactors. Ensure you're getting enough magnesium, zinc, boron, vitamin K2, and vitamin B6. Consider going ketogenic. It can help lower insulin levels and slow down fibroid growth. Load up on cruciferous veggies. They're great for your overall health and help manage estrogen levels. Limit your milk intake. If you haven't already, consider going dairy-free. Get some sunlight. While supplements are great, nothing beats the natural production of vitamin D from sunlight. Remember, treating fibroids is a journey, not a quick fix. Be patient with your body and stay consistent with your approach. So, there you have it, the fascinating connection between vitamin D and fibroid reduction. Who would have thought this simple vitamin could have such power? It just goes to show that sometimes the most effective solutions are the simplest. I'd love to hear from you. Has anyone tried managing their fibroids with vitamin D? Or maybe you have other natural remedies that have worked for you. Share your thoughts in the comments below to start a discussion. Your insights could be invaluable to others facing similar challenges. If you found this information helpful, remember to like and subscribe. Knowledge is power and your health is in your hands. By arming yourself with information and taking early action, you're already on the path to better health. Stay well, keep shining, and make vitamin D your new best friend in the fight against fibroids. Until next time.